Well, when I was eight years old, I used to sit in a cardboard box and dream I was going to the moon. You know, I dreamed about it, but never something I actually realized was, was possible until much later in my career. Commander John B. Harrington is widely recognized as the first Native American to fly in space. Originally from Oklahoma, the commander achieved a Master of Science degree in aeronautical engineering in 1995 and is currently a PhD student at the University of Idaho. He is a decorated naval officer with over 4,000 flight hours logged in 30 different types of aircraft. Selected by NASA in 1996, he reported to the Johnson Space Center where he completed two years of training to qualify for flight assignment as a mission specialist. He was assigned to the STS-113 Endeavour's 16th shuttle mission to visit the International Space Station, which included delivery of the Expedition 6 crew and three extravehicular activities totaling almost 20 hours. His mission duration on the space station was 13 days, 18 hours, and 47 minutes. It's never a label I put on myself. It's, a, it's what NASA said that I'm the first tribally enrolled member of, of a federally recognized tribe uh, to fly in space. And, uh, then I realized what an awesome responsibility it was because people look at you and say, oh, hey, you're the first. We have a small group of Native graduate students that I work with. They all have an influence. But what John has done is reach out to the Native and non-Native community to give talks, to give lectures. But he was interested not only in furthering really his dream, but, but really facilitating others' dreams. He has a wonderful presence. He is able to articulate the opportunities and dreams that he had as a young person and I think the Dreamcatcher Foundation recognizing um, him as an individual is, is another way to share his story with others. The broader subject is what's the motivation? You know, what motivates kids to want to study math and science? What motivates a native kid to want to go and become an engineer? I want somebody to look at me and say, you know, that guy is just like me. Wow, if he can do it, why can't I? Listen to the people that are around you and believe what they're telling you and do your very best with what, you know, what the Creator's giving you because uh, you never know, you know where you're going to end up.